Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Marina. I'm a physical therapist and I teach this class, Cardio and Strength Level 2, here every Monday morning at 10 a.m. So welcome to class. For today's class, you will need a space to work within, making sure that there's nothing on the floor that you might step on or trip over. Um, I'd like you to have a chair close by for some of our exercises. We may be getting up and down from the chair or using that chair for balance. Um, I also have water for our one break. For our one break, uh, we are going to be doing two rounds of exercises. So we're gonna do five exercises in one round and five in the next. So it's pretty uh, short class, it's gonna be about 40 minutes. We're gonna work hard, we're gonna do our best, and we are going to get a great workout in. So that being said, I want you to be cognizant of your, um, of your body and how you're feeling throughout class. Um, I do not have the luxury of being able to watch you and give you feedback. That being said, please choose wisely when we're doing our balance activities. Um, challenge yourself, but making sure that you are still doing it safely and that you are you know, able to maintain your balance, okay? All right, if you get dizzy, lightheaded, or short of breath, have a seat, catch your breath. You can always jump back in whenever you're ready. It's the luxury of the, po of the pause button. So pros, you can hit the pause button on me. Cons, I can't see you. So um, I hope that you're following along well and having a good time. So let's go ahead and begin with our warm up. We're gonna stand with our feet apart our shoulders back and our chest up and lifted. We're gonna look left and right. Left and right. Left and right. Left and right. One more time, left and right. Good, let's look up and down. Up and down, just moving our head. Up and down, we're warming up the body if you're just joining us. One more time. Good, All right, now we're gonna get those shoulders involved. You're gonna take a big swing behind you. Okay, like you're swimming. You're swimming in a pool, doing some backward strokes. Twisting that trunk as you go. Big shoulder rolls. Good, one more time. Excellent. All right, let's do a catch and throw. So, squeeze your fist tight. You're going to be up, and then you're going to hinge forward at your hips and expand your fingers. This is our catch, and this is our throw. Catch and throw. Catch and throw. Catch throw, catch, and throw. One more time, catch, and throw. Bring it back. Let's get our legs moving. Simple march in place. Bringing our knees up towards our chest. Maybe really swinging those arms to get that heart rate up. Now go wide. Like you step in a bunch of mud. <laughs> now bring it back to the center. Good, and let's stop in place. All right, next I want you to point and flex your toes. So you're pointing with your toe on the ground and then your heel. Toe and heel. Toe and heel. Toe and heel. Toe and heel. Let's switch sides. Toe and heel. Toe and heel. Toe and heel. Toe and heel. All right, let's finish it up with a few mini squats. So hands on our hips. We're going to bend our hips and our knees. Come back up. So notice I'm going back. I'm not doing this. I'm hinging at my hips. 
Bring my bottom back. Let's do two more. Let's do one more. There we go. So that's our warm up. I'm going to angle my camera and see if I can't get this brightness a little bit brighter in here. Oh, that's better. Great. Okay. So now that we're all warmed up and our camera is adjusted, we're going to go ahead and begin our very first exercise. I call it cognitive cardio. So cognitive meaning your thinking skills and cardio meaning getting your heart rate up. Our first exercise that we're going to do is going to be a side step. So you're stepping and tapping. And we're going to add a brain challenge. We're going to do the same one we did last week because I think it's kind of challenging. We're going to say numbers in the reverse order that I provide them. So if I say seven, two, five, you're going to say five, two, seven. Got it? Easy enough. All right, let's begin. Side steps. And are saying our numbers backwards. So seven, two, five. Eight, four, three. Two, one, seven. Seven, eight, nine. Six, three, two. Nine, one, one. Seven, six, four. Zero, one, five. Six, three, eight. Seven, two, four. Okay, we're gonna move on to four numbers. Three, seven, five, nine. Eight, one, zero, six. Two, four, one, zero. Eight, nine, seven, three. Three, two, zero, zero. One, seven, eight, five. Zero, eight, seven, seven. Seven, six, nine, four. And five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Yeah, that definitely got the size of my hips working there. It's an awesome one. So this next one, you have the option of using the chair. What we're going to do is a squat, okay, and then we're going to do a high knee. So you're going to bring your knee up. If you can, you can reach up overhead. Squat, high knee. You can use that chair for balance if you need to. Simply squatting, high knee, squatting, high knee. All right, so choose what best. Uh, what's best for you? Let's go ahead and begin. Going into that squat, reaching up overhead, and bringing that knee up towards your chest. Squat, high knee. 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 Let's squeeze our fist and then expand our fist at the top. Squeeze, expand. Squeeze, expand. Squat, high knee. Squat, high knee. Squat, high knee. Squat, 
high knee, we're getting close. Squat, high knee, squat, high knee. If you want that challenge, you can take that squat a little bit lower. If you're getting tired, you can make that squat a little bit smaller. We get a mini squat. I want you to try to keep moving though. There's a cardio class as well. Some balance aspect of this exercise too. We want to focus on nice, good control. We're not weeble wobbling around, but we're balancing on that one foot easily and steadily. Squat, high knee, and that is it. Woo! Second exercise done. Let's move on to our third one. So our third one, we're going to do a three-way lunge. So three-way lunge can be a little tricky sometimes. So you might want to have a chair nearby for balance. Make sure you can see my feet okay. Okay. So for the three-way lunge, we're going to do a lunge three directions. So let's start with the bringing our right foot forward and then bending the knees. Come back to the center. Now step out to your right. Side lunge. Together. And then step back with your right foot. Small lunge again. Starting back over. Forward. Together. Side. Together. Backwards. Together. Forward. Together. Side. Together. And back. Together. Forward. Together. Side. Together. And back. Together. One more time. Forward. Together. Side. Together. And back. Together. Okay, we're switching sides. We're going to do you toward the left leg now. Stepping forward and lunging. Stepping back to the center. Stepping to your left. And center. And now the back. And center forward. Side. And back. You can make those deeper if you wish. This is easy and comfortable for your knees. You can work on getting a little bit lower. And back. Forward. Side. And back. And center. And that's the end of that round. Okay. Am I doing okay? So our next exercise, we are going to be doing two things at a time. We're going to be rolling our arms. Whew. And we're going to do some heel taps. So tapping our heels out in front of us while doing some arm circles. That's our bell. Let's go ahead and begin. We're tapping our heel, 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 and doing our arms in small circles. You're really going to start to feel this. Arms are heavy. They're very heavy. That's easy for you. Maybe you can turn in a circle. Maybe you turn the other way. I like your, I'm doing the hokey pokey. You do the hokey pokey. And you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. All right, let's add another component. Let's add.
out a heel, heel, then toe, toe. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel, heel, toe, toe, and turn. Toe, toe. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel, heel, toe, toe. If the arms are getting tired, you can bring them in a little bit. Okay. We're almost there. 10 seconds. Toe, toe. Woo, I know. Heel. Heel, toe, toe. And three, two, one. And done. Woo. Oh, yeah. Stretch it out a little bit. Wiggle it. And take your arm across your body. Oh, that feels good. We got one more exercise and I get a true breather, ladies and gents. All right, we're gonna do some boxing. So for our boxing, I want you to have your left leg forward. Okay? Fists are up, they're protecting your face. Okay, someone comes at you. Gotta block your face. We're gonna do two jabs. Jab. Jab, that's your left arm. Then you're gonna cross, that's the back arm. The front arm's a jab, the back arm is the cross. Okay, so we're going to do jab, jab, cross, cross. You're gonna grab that guy by the shoulder and you're gonna kick him and then bring it back. Here we go. Jab, jab, cross, cross, and kick. Bring it back. Jab, jab, cross, cross, and kick. Good. Jab, jab, cross, cross, and kick. Awesome. Jab, jab, cross, cross, and kick. And bring it back. Jab, jab, cross, Cross and kick. Jab, jab, cross, cross and kick. Good, so switch sides. So bring your right leg forward. Now your right arm becomes the jab. Left arm becomes the cross. Grab them, kicking with that other leg. Jab, jab, cross, cross, and kick and bring it back. Jab, jab, cross, cross, and kick. Again, jab, jab, cross, cross, and kick. Jab, jab, cross, cross, and kick. And that is time. Woo, we did it. So now we have a, a little two minute breather. Grab some water, cool down a little bit. Oh, you're doing awesome, you're halfway through class. Yay! <laughs> A little better. Can you see my life a little bit better? It's kind of dark outside. I need to invest in some of those, those lights that people use for photography. I know my pants are a little dark and a little more difficult to see today. So keep that in mind. I always forget. <laughs> Everybody doing okay? All right, we're going to make our way back to our spots. Got five more exercises today, everybody. That's it. Five more days. You're halfway there. Okay, so our next exercise, we are going to be using our chair to steady ourselves. We're going to take our leg. We're going to bring it out to the side. Notice my toes continue to face forward the entire time. 
and my trunk stays nice and upright. Okay, so we're gonna bring your leg out to the side and bring the leg down nice and slowly. Okay, so side hip, here we go. Out and down, nice and slow. Out and down. Out and down, nice and slowly. Out and down. 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 Really start to feel it in the leg you're standing on, right? There we got one more on this side. Okay, now we're gonna switch sides. Now it's really hard to see. I'm sorry, I don't know how to fix that. There we go. All right, now we're coming out and down, nice and slow with our right leg. Out and down. Out and down, nice and slow. Out and down. Out and down. Keeping our toes facing the front at all times. Don't let them rotate. I don't want to see this. This is not what we want. We want this. Okay. 10 seconds left. Out and down. Out and down. And that was the last one. Fabulous. All right, we're gonna take that chair, we're gonna sit down in it. Okay. All right, next, we're gonna do some stand up and sit downs. We're gonna alternate between our legs being nice and wide apart and our legs being a little closer together. Okay, so here we go. Let's start with our legs out nice and wide. I want you to use as little of your arm support as possible to stand up and sit down. Feet together. Stand up and sit down. Feet apart. This is our wide. And this is our narrow. Okay, maybe you can add some arms. So if we're doing the Y, I want you to make a big wide arm. We're doing our narrow. Get those arms up over your head. Good. Wide. And narrow. Out wide. Stand up. Sit down and narrow, feet to close together, up and down. Feet wide, up and down. Feet narrow, up and down. Feet wide. And down and feet narrow. Feet out wide. Working similar muscles, just in a little bit different way. Every time making sure that we're standing up all the way, we're standing up as tall as we possibly can. Very nice posture throughout. So last one, up and down. Okay, we're gonna stay seated for this next one. And we are going to pretend that we're riding a bicycle, okay? But I want you to do it with one leg. 
Now you're gonna do it with one leg. So you're gonna be kicking that leg out straight, pulling it down, pulling it back, and bring that knee back up towards your chest. Like it's a one-legged bicycle. Okay, we're gonna start on one leg, we're gonna switch. So every 30 seconds to the other leg, because this is a very tiring exercise. You will see. So let's start with our left leg. We're taking it forward, down, back, the knee up. Kick forward, down, back, and up. Now you've got the rhythm down, so you can speed it up a little bit. So our one-legged bike. So keep on going. All right, let's switch legs. Now we're doing our right leg. Let's pedal that right leg some. You really feel this in your thighs, your hip flexors, your quadriceps muscles. These are all muscles on the front of your thigh and hip. Let's switch legs. We're back to the left leg. Okay, keep going. Woo, starting to burn a little bit. Okay, and switch to the other side. The last 30. Last 30 seconds. You can do it. Whew. Three, two, ooh, and one. Awesome, awesome job. All right, we're moving right along. We got two more exercises today, so I want you to try and stick with me. Okay, all right, our next exercise, we're gonna use our chair, and we are going to do what's called like a tabletop position. So you're gonna look like a table. So you can have your hands on the seat of your chair. Okay, and notice my back is nice and flat, and it's kind of like my legs and my arms are the legs of a table. All right, so while here, we're gonna work on our rotation. So getting our spine nice and loose. So I want you to take one arm, I want you to lift it up towards the ceiling. Then I want you to dive underneath the other arm. Good, so you're really kind of rotating out and up to the ceiling and diving underneath the opposite arm. Up and under. Up, feeling that stretch in your chest and under. Up and under. Up and under. It's okay if your knees are bending a little bit with this. That's okay. Do one more. and under. All right, let's switch sides. So raise your other arm up overhead and dive that one underneath your opposite arm. Up and under. Kind of like a thread the needle. Kind of like you're threading the needle. Up and under. And under. Up. And under. Up. And under. Diving underneath. Up. And under. Last one. Up. And under. Very good. Okay, you can walk your feet back to your chair. Let's 
stay up nice and slowly. You can see a little lightheaded. All right, we move on to our last exercises of the day. And it's my personal favorite, standing on one leg. So as you're standing on one leg, you want to be sure you're maintaining nice upright posture. And I don't want to see any legs touch the other leg, okay? So we don't lean, but we keep a space in between our knees. Here we go. We're gonna do one minute on one side and one minute on the other. So if you're using your chair for balance and you have both hands on that chair, see if you can challenge yourself to take off one of those hands. If you have one hand on, see if you can take a few of those fingers off. It's gonna increase the challenge for you. You should feel your, your bottom, your hips, those tiny muscles in your feet all working to control your balance. Standing on one leg is mainly a strength, a strengthening exercise. You have five more seconds on this leg. And three, two, and one. Let's switch sides, other side. Maintaining space between your knees, maintaining upright posture, and holding on as little as necessary, okay? If you're doing this for the first time and your hamstrings are starting to get tired, these muscles on the back of your legs here, you can tap your toe down, bring it up if you need to. Like a little flamingo. <laughs> Got 20 more seconds here. Woo, got the wee wobbles. Very simple exercise. You can do it while you're waiting on food to heat up in the microwave. You can do it while you're in line at the grocery store. Really easy exercise to do just about anywhere at any time. You got a commercial during a movie? Stand up, see if you can do it. And that is a minute on that leg. Very good. So we're all finished with all five exercises in our second round. We're going to cool it down. I'm going to move my camera so you can see my legs. Oh, oh okay. That's good. I thought it might be a little too long, but it's okay. <laughs> all right. Let's take some nice deep breaths. Breathing in and breathing out. Big breath in. And out. Big breath in. And out. Very good. All right, now I want you to take one arm, lift it up and over your head like a little teapot. Tip me over and pour me out. Good, other side, reaching up and over. Good, arm back down. Now let's take an arm across our body. Just like you're saying stop, and using the other arm to pull it across your chest. Roll your wrist out here. Good, switching sides, saying stop and pulling across your body. Rolling that wrist out while you're here. Okay. All right, now let's take a seated twist. So we're gonna try and look behind us. Can you kind of put your hand on your opposite knee? It's gonna help you turn a little bit further. Always try to look behind you, see what's back there. Let's come back to the center and let's switch sides. Okay, 
in and bring it back to the center. All right, next we're gonna take one leg forward. Okay, so um, the knee is straight and we got toes pointed up towards the ceiling. So I want you to hinge forward at your hips, okay? So we're not leaning forward with our back, but we're hinging at our hips. And you may not be able to go very far. That is okay, we all start somewhere. So we're hinging forward, feeling the stretch along the back of our legs. Good, we're gonna slide it back up. We're gonna switch sides. Other leg forward, again, hinging at our hips. Good, and sliding it back up. All right, next I want you to take your ankle. I want you to cross it either over your shin or on your thigh above your knee. Whatever is available to you. You might not be able to get here on the first time doing it, and that's okay. So while we're here, if your knee is up, see if you can relax it down, okay? And if you're here and it's comfortable, you can hinge forward at your hips for a little bit deeper stretch in your, your buttocks, your booty. <laughs> Good, so awesome. You roll your ankle out while you're here. Make sure there's no gum on the bottom of your shoes. Make sure your shoes are tied. And we'll come back up. Let's switch legs. Take the ankle, cross it either over your shin or your thigh. Letting that knee fall out to the side and hinging forward if it's available to you. And rolling up that ankle as well. And relax. I'm gonna give you two or three bonus stretches today. Um, I would like to do a stretch for our wrist. completed. Yes, thank you. Um, <laughs> I want you to give me your hand like you are handing out some candy at Halloween. So your palm is facing forward and your fingers are down. Okay. Like this. Why don't you take your hand and place it along your, your palm and your fingers. So I want you to see if you can straighten out your elbow. You're gonna feel a lot of stretch along your forearm on the underside. This feels so good to me. Typically, as we age, we tend to lose this range of motion in our wrist more quickly than the other ranges. Okay, let's relax to the other side. So palm out and down, using those fingers along the palm and fingers, and then trying to straighten your elbow out in front of you. Stretches should always be a tad tight, a tad uncomfortable, but not painful, nothing sharp or shooting. Uh, something you can tolerate for a good 30 seconds or so. Then let's relax that down. Okay, let, uh, let's do one or two more stretches. I want you to give me a thumbs up. I want you to bring those thumbs out. And now see if you can rotate those thumbs toward the back of the room. Really lifting at your chest, feeling that stretch across the chest. Okay, now we're doing a thumbs down. So turning thumbs towards the back of the room. Or as the floor. For an additional stretch. It's great for your biceps. Good for putting that jacket on in the winter. Got to really reach back. Good, and relax. All right, folks. Well, thank you for joining me. My name is Marina. Again, this is Cardio and Strength Level 2 on Mondays at 10 a.m. or whenever you want to watch me 
fix lights and teach exercise classes from my modest living room. So <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful week. Um, you know, please contact the APDA if you have questions, comments, or concerns. I always welcome feedback. And I hope you all have a wonderful, a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for joining me.